Hi, this is Sandy. I'm doing an introduction to the video series that follows on what I experienced with mind possession. Uh, there was a comment left, and so this is in response to that comment. I wanted to explain the difference between <clears throat> mind possessions. There would be a kind of mind possession demon. Uh, that would be a outside separate entity or being, interdimensional being, uh, someone that is not on earth at the moment, perhaps someone that had passed, <clears throat> who would invade a person's human physical body and uh, possess their mind and body. Um, this is not what I experienced. What I experienced um, as mind possession and different mind possession demons was a um, something that has been placed within human beings already, different systems. What I understand, at, from what I understand at this point, these different systems would be placed into the human physical body while still in the mother's womb through the DNA and so everything um, of your mother and father so not only physically but everything of your mother and father uh, in their their subconscious conscious and unconscious mind would be passed on kind of downloaded into you however as well um, all of humanities and perhaps all of the earth. Um, <clears throat> this information would also be downloaded into you at the time from when you were first born. This is inside you. All this information is imprinted uh, within your human physical body. Now, obviously, only certain thoughts are going to be coming to the conscious mind. Because uh, all this information, as you can imagine, is unthinkably huge and overwhelming, and our minds are not meant to uh, cope with, on a conscious level, all of this information, all of these thoughts. What I experienced <clears throat> was um, certainly not intentional. Um, it is not understood, certainly by the mental health field, and therefore people are labeled uh, insane, and they are given different, you know, they're schizophrenic, or, or this or that. So what happened to me was I accessed information from my subconscious, certainly unconscious mind that was not meant to be accessed. And so, for example, <clears throat> uh, all the thoughts that would be imprinted in the human physical body on one topic, uh, money. There are thoughts that run through the human being's mind about money that are everybody has these thoughts okay they're already inside of you so they come up they come up and they're very common uh, I'm afraid of poverty I I'm terrified I'm not gonna have enough money to survive on and on and on and on and, on. and <clears throat> this is what happened to me is I accessed this uh, information which I confused to being me however it was just all these um, from the unified consciousness field, all these thoughts from all human beings coming up at me. And I wasn't able to stop it. This drives people to insanity and often to suicide, understandably, because they cannot cope with all this information. And often people, um, when they hear voices, so voices inside their head, uh, kill themselves because they don't understand what's going on and they cannot cope and they cannot stop it it's like a malfunction of the mind 
Um, so um, I hope that clarifies somewhat what I'm talking about versus some of the other people talking about a demon that is not just uh, downloaded information, but an outside entity coming into the human physical body to mess around with it and scare it. Okay, thank you.